Well, we're kicking off the holiday week today on Monday, and it's also VIX expiration week. December VIX rolls off this Wednesday on the opening print of the S&P 500 January options. And we're seeing a lot of activity in December today, and a lot of it is selling. People are no longer interested in owning premium for the next little less than 48 hours, and they're getting out of their long positions now before the positions roll off. Now, the play they're making there is a short-term play, and it's the play they're making is they are betting that there won't be a big move out of the VIX over the next couple of days. The biggest order was the, was the December 19 calls. The customer was long and came in, sold 10,000 for 12 and a half cents, crowd buying that. Once that order was filled, not a lot of people needed protection anymore. The people who didn't want to be short bought that, and there wasn't a lot of buyers on the market. Right now, the future is sitting right at 1710 with the VIX cash at 1670. And that 17 straddle is something we're watching. It's trading about 85 cents right now. So people who are buying that straddle are hoping for a VIX settlement outside of 1615 and 1785. People selling, hoping for a settlement inside of there. What's also interesting is that the desire <clears throat> To be short the front month is not something we're seeing in the second and third months. January upside still very bid. We're seeing the January 2530 call spread trade 40 cents that is about 5,000 times. We're also seeing buyers of the extreme upside out into May. The May 4050 call spread it also has also been bought about 2,500 times for 55 cents, and there was also a March May 40 call spread buyer of that 4,000 times for 30 cents. So people want, out, want the protection far out into the future for very high VIX levels, but over the next two days are not very interested in owning any kind of protection. Jamie Terrell with Group One, Option Monster.